Well, hello there. It's Beards and Bangers, and today you join me for episode two on flipping, uh-oh, we've decided to call the car, uh-oh, the MGF. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So the challenge with this car is to get it listed within a week. So we are, we'll take this as day one because uh, there's been a lot going on. So um, Austin and me are going to do some work on this one together. So there'll be me doing some work, there'll be Austin doing some work. So we'll, uh, we'll crack on with the bonnet first because that's probably the most urgent thing to do. And then we'll, we'll do a bit to the, the wing mirrors, the lacquer, various other bits and bobs. So hop on in, grab a cup of tea and uh, let's do some work to the MGF. So that first little clip you just saw was uh, some brief bits of washing the car. Probably the most satisfying bit is the engine bay now. So we can see it here. That was full of dirt the other day. It was full of dirt down there. That's all gone. Engine bay is looking nice and clean. Um, the boot is, there's other work going on in here. So, uh, but the boot is also nice and clean around there. So just little details like that are really important. And it just gave us a chance to have a, a good look over the car as well um, so we'll get some clay bar out and start on the bonnet and then we'll do some compound then polish um, and then we'll probably seal it with something not quite sure what yet just to keep that color in because um, it's a shame to go to all that hard work and then it not look nice afterwards okay you're probably fed up with me of me using clay now but if I can get into it it is essential that you do this because if you just polish or compound and you've got little bits of dirt, I probably should have done this off camera, but it is reality. If you've got little bits of dirt ground into the paint, then all you can do is just rub them in and you end up with a nasty swirly appearance. So we'll get this warm. Got to, haven't got any clay loop here, so we'll use some rapid detail and we'll just go over this little sections. It's not too warm. It's good that we've got the unit for under cover now, so we can park things in the shade and do work, which is why it's really good. So let's just get this clay soft and then we'll start claying the bonnet. Right, so we'll lube up a little patch like this and we'll see. It's always, it's always a good indication of paint when you clay it because it just shows what's in it. Um, so we go up and down and then side to side not doing it in too big with too big a piece or in too big areas at once so we'll just work methodically up and down the bonnet all right let's have a look actually that's not too bad that's not bad at all so i'm gonna get this whole thing done and then we'll get some compound on it. Right, so we've got some polish. We shall start polishing. Fairly low speed to start off with.
Okay, so we'll buff this off in a sec and just see how it's taking it. It just seemed to be doing something. That's definitely feeling a lot smoother. Um, so I'll just put a bit more on here. We'll keep doing this and then we'll just, we'll just keep polishing it and polishing it and polishing it and hopefully it's going to come up pretty good. So we're using um, Auto Glim Super Resin, which is a really good polish. So hopefully it's going to go do a good job. Right, so we'll just buff off this first little test patch, see how it looks. Probably to leave it a few minutes because when you wet this kind of bloomy paint, it does take, it does sort of come back. So I'm just going to buff it off. That does look better at that stage. Obviously, we need to get into that groove or that crease that's part of the bonnet shape, this kind of a curve here. Let's see how it looks. But, but, that seems to be all right. So while that's doing, I'm just gonna get the, uh, the windscreen washer jets out just to protect those uh, from the polish. And uh, if this takes, we'll get a bit of polish in there, probably by hand, and then uh, get the whole bonnet done. And then we'll, we'll make sure we do around it as well, just so it's nice, nice across the whole car. But fingers crossed, that's gonna be all right. Right, so hopefully you can appreciate this. You can see, that half of the bonnet has still got the bloom on it, but this, we've got um, super resin, but then some Meguiar's compound, and it really has come up nice. So we'll continue doing this. Uh, Austin's gonna have a little go in a minute. But yeah, that's looking rather good, rather better than it was. Then we're gonna use some, uh, liquid wax to seal it afterwards, so. We'll do a bit more work and show you the finished bonnet in a sec. Right, so we think we've got the bonnet as far as we can get it. We're gonna put some um, some wax on it in a minute just to seal it off and then we'll leave it overnight. We've just, Austin just machine polished the windscreen surround. That's also painted, that's come up really nicely, but you're just trying a bit by hand. Obviously the, the bonnet is getting black, as is the cloth. So you can try a bit by hand, see how that comes up um, but yeah that get a windscreen around looking nice as well but I, i'm actually really pleased with the way the bonnet has come up so Meguiar's compound auto glim super resin polish um, seems to work it's not perfect but it's a 28 year old car um, what do you reckon yeah it comes up it's getting there just hard work but you have to put a lot into it yeah which is all right, but so, when you've got a mop on the floor, you must be there. Yeah, so we're going to get the mop on that. So we'll get a little bit of footage of that, and then we'll change bonnets and put the wax, change bonnets to put the wax on the bonnet. A lot of bonnets going on. So you can just see him angling the... Uh, the random polisher, just a little bit, just to get a bit of pressure on that windscreen surround, but it is coming up nice. So I'll just see him. Get a smaller polisher. Really. Yeah. Little little three inch ones, what they are. You can see that's really coming up quite nice. That was pretty dull. Yeah, it could be. So we won't, we won't go. We won't polish that anymore. No. Yes, yeah, so you got obviously you can't just keep polishing a car because you will go through the clear coat and into the paint. That's like paint. That's for body work. Yeah, but it's coming together quickly as well. So we said seven days. I think we're yeah, definitely filming the interior as well. We did that. Yeah. So Lewis, who you've seen before, there's Lewis, has very kindly hoovered out. Austin's whizzed round it. Hopefully you can see in here, all right. Austin's whizzed round with the detailing brush and cleaning solution. Um, so the, the act to be fair, the interior was actually very. Very, very smart. So we're not saying you're, um, we're not saying it was filthy at all. Uh, a little scrub. Little scrub. So it's, yeah, that's coming together nicely. So obviously the next step, which will be the next video, will be painting that, that, and getting some clear coat on this bumper. Um, and we're actually pretty much there. I think we'll just, just get up on the ramp just to give it one quick check. So it's going well. Things are going according to plan. That's coming up lovely. So that's pleasing because that's 
just little things like that just affect the, uh, the overall appearance. We'll get the glass polished up as well. I know one of you did comment a little while ago about using clay bar on the glass. I have done that with some great success, so we might do that as well. Right, so final job is just to wax it. So we give the wax a bit of a shake. I'm gonna put it on this sponge applicator pad for once I'm using Meguiar's. Um, don't use a lot of Meguiar's stuff, but this is good stuff. So we'll just soak. Oh, helps if you uh, undo this bit. I found, keep, keep, keep doing this with these uh, detailing products. Come on, Robert, get to get it together. There we go, right. So we got our wax. Another little shake. We'll just soak the applicator. Yeah, well, that's, that's what it should look like. So the one we had yesterday had gone off, so it had gone liquidy. But we'll just do it little circular motions like so. I really am chuffed with how this bonnet has come up. So I think we're well ahead of schedule for getting this car flipped within seven days. So much so we've actually advertised it already. So we'll just do the, uh, the lacquer and the bit of bodywork tomorrow. Bank holiday, it's ideal. And uh, then it's good to go, which is a result. So I'll get this done, towel it off, and then we're, we're done for today. Right, so final job, just towel it off. And that is a result. I am very pleased with how this bonnet's turned out with, wouldn't say no effort at all, but not a lot of effort. So reminder of the stages, compound, polish, and then wax, just to seal it all in. Yeah, and that's, yeah, that's looking nice. So we'll give it another wash just to get rid of the polish residue at some point. But that's looking good. Well pleased with that. Right, there we are. So thank you for watching episode two of getting this car ready for sale. If you want to see what happens with this car and the other cars of my channel, then do hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know exactly when I've got a video out. Don't forget to like as well, share with your friends, and also drop a comment down below. If, you're a, if you've got something to say, please do say it. It's greatly appreciated. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again very soon on the next episode of Beards and Bangers. Goodbye.